Okay, so I'm posting this in the hopes that someone can help us work out the problem with our 2002 Mercedes Sprinter. So uh, we're having an issue where the tank gets about halfway full and then the engine stops pulling fuel through. Now we've confirmed that it's definitely not the fuel sensor arm here, which I originally thought would be bent or something like that. Uh, and the way we've confirmed that is, uh, first of all, it's not bent, but second of all, uh, when we filled it up after it died last time, it took 40 litres of fuel to fill it up, uh, and it's a 75 litre tank. So there should have still been 35 litres or there or thereabouts in the tank, and uh, from my jerrys over there, I can say that that's, that's correct. So, what I'm suspecting is the problem is that when this sits in the tank, it sits at about this height in the tank, right? Now, fuel comes into here from the recirculation part, I think. And that comes out down in here, if I can get the camera in the right spot, down in this little bit here, it comes out. And then it gets sucked back up the other hose, this one, if I can get my finger in there, it comes back up this one, up here, back through here, and off to the filter and into the engine. Now, what I can't work out is where does the rest of the fuel get into this thing? Because there's no holes in the bottom, there's no holes in the sides, all that there is, is this little thing here, which has a blank on it. Now, logically to me, what's happening is, when this tank gets to half full, before then, the fuel's sitting at this level, right? So it just pours into this unit. Once it gets below this level, all that's left is what's circulating back in. Which is obviously going to be when we're getting that halfway reading because the fuel will be sitting up here but there's actually no fuel getting into this unit now my question is does this belong here or do I need to remove it I'm not sure if I should go further into it but I will why not so we recently got the van serviced and someone replaced the fuel filter but they had it for a week and they couldn't work out how to get the engine to turn again. And they said that they took the, the fuel tank off and that they tried to pressurise the system and everything, which doesn't work on these particular Mercedes because of the way that their fuel pump system's set up. But I could clearly see that someone had been in here because it was all clean on top. So mo most of this cleaning wasn't me. Oop, here comes some hail. That's exciting. Anyway... I'm suspicious that they've replaced this unit thinking that they broke it or something and then they've not taken this little blank out but I also can't remove it without breaking it myself so I guess yeah with the hail coming down out there um, if anyone could help me that'd be great